is uh, it's a Dyneema fiber, which is a, a high-tech fiber. Um, it's crazy strong, much you know stronger than steel for the same diameter. Uh, I want I remember this is like something like 3,600 pound braking strength, this quarter inch line. Uh, so that's all our rigging. We use that, and we're trying to uh, make the rigging as thin as possible and as and as sort of transparent as possible, so the, the sort of the ephemeral nature of the of the Skynet itself can be um, isolated from sort of what's going on and, and what's what's supporting it. Yep. Uh, and then the next step down is a traditional fishing net. It's a monofilament, uh, you know, fishing net that is, is a heavier gauge monofilament. Uh, and, and, and that is uh, sort of anchored in within, within the ropes. And then we have this um, holographic film. It's got a, a holographic pattern to it. And um, the whole point of this is to keep it as lightweight as possible so it can be as wind reactive as possible, right? So we're, 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 it's a constant balance between like it's too slack, it gets caught up in stuff or whatever. Um, and if it's too tight, it doesn't perform. So we're, it's, a, it's a, a real balance. The real artistry is in the rigging itself. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular one was, was challenging because of all the trees and you know, the buildings are all historical and hard to, you know, hard to quantify. You can't really say what, what the strength of something is if it's that old. Uh, so that's the deal, and then the city put in this pole for us, uh, and we're tying off to the federal building. And that's that's otherwise it's all trees in here. Yeah. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about the piece itself? Okay. So um, uh, I was inspired by the seafaring historical nature of the city, uh, and then also they're they're doing this, this wind initiative thing, with like you know, sort of handing off from sailing ships to modern wind farms, which I think is excellent. I'm really supportive of that. So we have wind currents and, and uh, you know, water currents and, and, and that kind of thing. And, and then the fishing history. So, so these look like sardines or some kind of schooling fish. Uh, so we, we, the piece is called Silver Currents with the intention of, of sort of tying those things together. Um, currents of wind, currents of water, uh, and, and silver being the color, but also the color of fish generally uh, and then we worked really hard to try to find a, a pattern or a, a, a shape that would fit well in the park uh, you know navigating the trees and, and giving it as much motion as possible and and uh, we were really constrained by the engineering um, to the older buildings and 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 by the distances that we would have had to traverse with long ropes to keep something high enough off the center of the park. Mm -hmm. So we, we lucked out and, uh, and Datma was able to find a, find a pole and, and have it installed and it's perfect. So this is uh, built for New Bedford, it's not absolutely. traveled here from somewhere else? No, it's absolutely site specific. They all are, it's, it has to be site specific for all the rigging reasons that I just shared with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's gotta be, you know, we come do a site visit, analyze the, the wind patterns locally and then what the prevailing winds are and, and the 10 year wind history so we know what we can expect in terms of speeds and directions and stuff. Okay. Uh, I take that into account and try to figure out how to maximize the performance based on that. Um, and, and then the local, you know, local. But you have placed similar ones in other cities, right? Um, similar in that they're, this, we're calling this technology like Skynet. You know, okay. so, so uh, yeah, so I've done them in like Berlin and uh, Melbourne and uh, Prague and Beijing is one, uh, Lisbon, Portugal is another one, uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, you know, St. Uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Like I've done like 15 or 16 in the last couple of years. Different kinds, all different. Some are some are colorful, and uh, we're doing one that's a dichroic film. that's really fun, it's like a, a color changing film. Oh, okay, so the yeah. the kind of the I, the inspiration or the ideas behind them was different for each location then it sounds like well right? the, the, the initial inspiration was um, the mur murmuration of starlings or schooling fish and the way the way they all turn and move at the same time and I was just really like just jaw-dropping like watching it the first time you'll see this the clouds of birds that are all you know, moving and swooping and like there's no birds falling out of the sky you'd think they'd be colliding and uh, and something there's something magical about this something that really called to me and I was like how can I sort of regenerate that feeling that I'm feeling in somebody else when they see something like this. And so 
the idea is to try to isolate the rigging and create this thing that's just floating in, in the sky that you really don't understand how it's happening. Yeah. 